six days to change one line of code. A true story. <laughs> oh no. I can already feel myself going, don't do it. Don't you do it. That's called stability. Philip, president, our factory is underutilized by 10%. Either we start building more of our, our backlog or we lay people off. I'd rather keep everyone busy, build inventory, and get ahead of the curve before bu the busy season. How can we do that? Lee, operation manager. Company policy restricts us from building more than three months of backlog. If you just change that to four months, we'll have plenty of work. Philip, done. Now, how do we implement that? Lee, I'm not really sure. I think we have to change a setting in the legacy software. David, IT director. No problemo. It's probably one line of code in our core routine. Fill out a ticket and submit it to the IT services. Judy, IT admin. I'm assigning this request ticket to 129281, but it still needs the section on business impact completed and director approval. David, it's for Philip. It we don't do this right away. We'll have to. Uh, we'll have to. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to have a layoff. Judy. Okay. Then I'll fill out that section myself and put it on the fast track. Two days later. What's the status of one two nine two eight one? It's the first enhancement in the develop. Let's see. It's in first enhancement. Oh my goodness. Hold on. It's the first enhancement in the developer queue after fourteen bug reports. Forget the queue. Mark it urgent and send it to Ed immediately. One hour later. Ed, programmer. On line 1252 of module ORP 57. What the hell are we looking at? I changed the hard-coded va uh, variable months of backlog from three to four. I unit tested this successfully and ran two batch of tests. The operation worked Q increased 10% as expected. This is good to go. I submitted it to code review and moved it to Homer for user testing acceptance or user acceptance testing. Wait, hold on. Do you guys work like this? Real talk. Is this your life? kill me <laughs> i worked at a company that this was my life that it was just like these large painful changes to get somewhere kinda yes yes kill me oh my goodness all right surely code review it is now against company policy to have any hard-coded variables You gotta love it. You'll have to make this record in the parameter files. Also, there are two old debug commands, an unassigned variable warning message, and other hard-coded employee ID that will have to be fixed before this module can be moved to production. Ed. <laughs> F*** that sh That may be very well be true. <laughs> Shirley! Surely we love you. This is fan this is the way to respond to Ed. But since you are assigned to ORP 572, you are responsible for fi fixing pre-existing errors that violate new company policy. I cannot promote uh, this as as it is. Dude, this sounds like government law when it comes to property. Did you know that in the United States, if you buy a property, and your property, let's just say that you never even knew that... Uh, one of the structures was out of compliance or some weird building thing or non-permit thing happened, right? You had no idea. You bought this property. You were just now responsible. You own all existing errors that happened. This happened to us. We had this nice little place. We thought it was really nice. Uh, we really liked it. We went. We had this like nice little, little, little guest quarters. We went to the guest quarters. And then it just turns out the, that uh, the county was like, um, that's not supposed to be there. And we're like, I, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> it's not, well, it's there. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to tell me. Like, sorry. Right? Like, it's such a weird thing. All right, two hours later. Okay, done. I just resubmitted it to code review. Julie, IT testing. Homer is not available for user acceptance testing because Fred is running a controlled test for a month end accounting close. Use Marge instead. I don't have access to Marge. Then contact Joe in IT security. He'll get you permissions. Two hours later. 
Joe in IT security. I cannot grant you access to March without David's signature. He's out of town. Can this wait till Monday? I don't think so, Philip. Or I don't think so. Philip wants this right away. Uh, get him to grant access. Surely. Your new parameter record, Months of Demand, needs a better name. Oh, yes! Uh, the offshore programmers won't understand what this means. Also, uh, it should have an adult uh, trail of changes or an audit trail of changes. What policy is that? It's not exactly written down anywhere. The offshore team is three months late updating the wiki, but I assure you, all new parameter records must satisfy new naming requirements and keep audit trails. One day later. Ed, I renamed the parameters uh, record months of demand to selected months of backlog demand and added module par 634 to maintain the record and its audit trail. I've submitted it to code review. Tony, IT testing. I see 129281 on Marge, but I have no test plan. Ed, just run it the old way and the new way and note the increase in the total of work hours uh, reported. Work order hours reported. That's your test plan? No, dude, this sounds like such a QA move. Oh my goodness. I had the right, someone was just like, you need to try to write a test plan. This was once at Netflix a while ago. Okay, this has only happened to me once. I wrote something down. And they're like, this is your test plan? It's childish and incomplete. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you know why? I'm a programmer, dog. This is how I see the world, okay? Childish and incomplete, and you will deal with it, okay? This is why I do this, and then something tells me I'm wrong, and I change my opinion about how I should do things. I don't know what you want from me. Uh, this affects everything in the factory. I have to have user-selected test cases, expected results, documented test runs, and user sign-off. Two days later. Philip, David... Tell Tony to move Ed's program to production immediately. David, yes, sir. Total elapsed time, six days. Lines of mission critical code changed, one. Bytes of mission critical code changed, one. Excedrin eaten, 24. Pissed off hours spent on Hacker News, 14. This person must be Ed in the story. This is Ed. I hope you realize that what we just read is Ed's life story. And that man, you need to lay off the Excedrin, okay? You're going to find yourself having some issues, okay? You're definitely going to have some issues, Ed. You don't want to do this to your life, okay? Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Imagine if this was your life and you wrote it up and your response was, Thanks for sharing! <laughs> Rom, you son of a bitch. That is so funny. Uh, the buck stops there with Shirley. Yeah, Shirley really laid down the law. Can we all agree? Don't call me Shirley, okay? She has her act together. I don't, okay? So don't call me Shirley. This is ridiculous. This... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> of course it was Ed. It's at the top of the article. <laughs> I called that son of a bitch from orbit. Poor Ed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Ed. Ed Weisman. Uh, Weisman, thank you very much. This is a great, great. Hey, go follow Ed on Twitter. Okay. Don't follow Ed on Twitter, okay? He hates Twitter, okay? He's probably on threads or on Mastodon. I don't know. Maybe he's a Mastodon. I don't know. Whatever happened to you, Ed, I appreciate you. You don't exist anymore. I ain't using Mastodon. I, I don't know what to tell you, okay? I don't know what to tell you. The name is the primogen.